one of the big challenges up to now, up to recently with online um, submission and management of assessment is that uh, there's multiple submission points. Uh, up till now students have uh, generally had to submit two or three times to different systems. So previously you would have, you might have submitted to Turnitin and get the similarity index and then you would have submitted to another icon in views uh, to actually be able to mark it. What Grademark does is it combines all of that into one a submission process. And that's really important because that saves a lot of time. So what happens is essentially if it's, a, this, if it's an individual assignment or a project a document, student submits it to Grademark, uh, you can assess the similarity index of it and you just open it up and you can mark it. Uh, some really good items in Grademark include uh, a tag so that you, if you have standard comments when you mark an assignment, they all get marked up and you can just click them and use them as you go through. And you can all set up, set up your own comments as well. And then using uh, the rubric, if you have that set up, uh, you can just go through that, click on the, on the actual cell within the rubric your criteria and you just uh, go through put that together and it will add up the marks for you. There's also a section where you can put in a whole lot of your overall remarks. You can put over comments through by each criteria cell or you can actually put comments overall for the assignment. Uh, then the, the students can read that online if they go into grade mark or you can download that report as a PDF file and you give them to them that way. So it's uh, very effective. Generally very positive. I've tried uh, a number of different systems. So I tried the digital doc Dropbox, I tried the uh, marking using the straight out rubrics. Uh, the students have been pretty happy actually. They, they, they can uh, uh, see uh, uh, where all the results are, it's consistent, uh, and they can look at it pretty well as soon as you've done it. If you want to, you can literally open it up straight away so they get the results very quickly. It's improved, I think, the feedback uh, in terms of just the detail of it and the consistency of it. Um, it's, I think it's probably, from my point of view, it's just improved the, I would say it's given me about a 30% efficiency dividend uh, because of the submission process. So with the submission process, that's all done really quickly. It's done through one spot, so that's where you look. Uh, the actual calculation and adding up of marks is so much faster, because if you're doing it through the digital drop box or other, in other, using other methods, you generally had to do all the calculation of the total marks separately, so it all does it for you. So it's, there's been some real efficiency dividends in using grade mark. You have to be careful when you're using it for group work. Uh, you just make sure that uh, a single students submit uh, to, to grade mark. Um, you have to be very careful about making sure when you open assessment to view. Uh, so uh, students may put uh, their assessment through grade mark, but you have to make sure that you have it closed while you're marking so that you, when it, you open up grade mark for when the students want to, to use it. Um, also, you need to, it's still good practice to save copies of what's online. So uh, when you've marked an assignment, you still should download the grade mark report and keep a record of it offline. So even though you've done it all online, you still should make sure that you have online and offline uh, records management.